once again up really really early yeah here on set at 4.30 uh, just uh, before for some village so yeah everybody this is going to be a bit of a cattle call today but we used to call it quite a lot of people they got us here early because they guess they're processing they want to process everybody I'm curious if this is what uh, uh, how they'll shoot this interesting anyway let's go in let's go into the deep yeah you know back in the day I'd have my breakfast burrito by now breakfast burritos Ooh, they were the best getting pretty good spread we'll get some brekkie after all Ooh, some good stuff we'll get into the chow here yeah. I'm really impressed with the food on set. Oh yeah, some good taka there. Let me make my own breakfast burrito. We got uh, the juice line, the uh, craft service for extra. Craft service for extra. That's us. I think they got a whole bunch of them too, which is nice. Pretty good. You're not without on this set, but I'm telling you, this is uh, pretty, quite cool. Quite good. Oh, get in that tunnel. There's my brekkie, 4.30 in the morning. Some uh, naughty, naughty muffins. <laughs> That's naughty. But uh, you got some tuna and uh, some quiche and uh, some ham. Uh, protein, some milk, all that stuff. Man, I work for food. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be a too bad a cattle call today, so uh, it's going to be a festive day anyway because it's uh, we're doing a fake song cram. So, this should be Fox song cram. So, it should be interesting. A very interesting day indeed. The usual suspects. I'm getting a lot of lens flare off these lights. Too bad. Yeah, so they're all uh, getting us together. And, uh, put us in groups, I guess. Have different uh, areas on the side. Well coordinated, you know. I love about this business. It is a well oiled machine. <laughs> Damn, so many lens, lens flares. I'm getting to my tucker again. Wardrobe, little wardrobe, and makeup. closer to set, so we're uh, second uh, the uh, holding area closer to set, so we'll be going uh, to Fisherman Village with uh, squirt guns over there, and having a big water fight. All of our festive wear, this is mine by the way. Yeah. You're in a real Thailand, baby. Well, I sort of had a sixth sense they'd be filming up in my area here in Bangkok. 
Yeah, that was right. I knew it. I knew they'd come out here sometime. Well, they were out here uh, before at uh, Dog Point, so. I understand uh, why well, we wouldn't be called though. We don't, we don't fit the demographics probably. I think they're doing a pot shop kind of thing. So all young, hippie cat people. Certainly a big thrill for Panka though. Look at all the trucks and the rigs. Look at the holding back there. Look at all the rigs, man. Yeah, all the extras are gone. Oh, there's some way in the back there too. Oh, it's quite a quite a big setup. Jeez. Would have been a lot of extras here. I knew it though. Five minutes from my house. <laughs> Would have been great. It's always the case though. In Vancouver it was like that all the time. Once in 20 years I had it literally in the backyard. And I do believe uh, here is where the... Maybe they went to the snake farm today too as well. Get a little snake farm show but... You can see how they uh, changed all this here. Setback changed all that to a cannabis store. Cannabis Island, uh, that's pretty hilarious. I guess they were filming at the snake farm too. It's all closed up now, look at that. <laughs> and this will all be taken down. Tomorrow, maybe, maybe they're shooting again tomorrow. I don't, I'm not sure. Used to be my favorite favorite store, Family Mart. Yeah, time massage there too. <laughs> ah, cool. Good exposure for them though. Good exposure for Panka. Period. Shoot. Wow. Pretty awesome. Crew there waiting to go home. Keeping it real. Keeping it real in Thailand, baby. Don't get more real than this. <laughs> Just can't escape you these days. Cool.